Hello everybody, this is Nelka Rock again and today I receive an amazing comment from our friend in YouTube and that is from Riska Feli 4374 Riska said, Good morning Nelka, thank you for your inspiring videos. Do you mind to make tutorial about daylight glare simulation? Thanks in advance. Actually, I never had a calculation, a glare lighting design calculation from daylight. So let's go and try it. Okay, so I have my office here now. It's a small office, but it's a glamorous one. So what I'm going to do is I will run a daylighting calculation in this um, conference or off or meeting rooms. Okay, so let's go and try this because I never had this one before. So what I'm going to do is I go I will go to this um, calculation objects. I will place a calculation. Uh, uh, let's have some calculation point here in these chairs and I will set that one as our glare points. Okay, so let's place um, calculation here on this one and also on this side. Yes, because it's facing on the window and another one on the side. Okay, maybe this one. Okay, so I have three calculation points and I will make those points as uh, glare rating okay I'll click this one and then I'll just make this a glare as 360 degrees with a step width of 15 degrees viewing angle is zero and I will click another this one and I'll make this a glare and check this one and this one even though it's facing uh, facing on the wall and not on the on the window I will still create one here and I will make the Calculation uh, viewing angles from 0 to 360 degrees. So it's at 360 degrees. Because <laughs> maybe the person sitting here will be also facing on um, the window. Okay, so let's try and check the positioning of this because I need to make sure that they are positioned in like the height of the person uh, sitting down is like one meter. Let's make it 1.1 meter. Yeah. Okay. Let's make this one 1.1. And this one as also 1.1. Okay. So these are my calculation surface uh, calculation points. You cannot see it here. Let me just turn off everything here. Okay. So let's try and do a light scene. So I'm going to create a light scene and uh, run a daylighting calculation. So just go here at your light scene tab and then click and create a new uh, light scene. Create an empty light scene and label that one as daylight. Okay, let's just label it as daylight. And then I will set the daylight here as clear sky. And let's just make this time as, okay, this is the same date. I'll just change the time into, um, say, 1 p.m., okay? And I will change the location because this project is from UK. So I'm just, I'm just going to change the location into, um, let's say, I will make this as London. Yes, okay, London, England. All right, so let's go and calculate it now. So you, you just need to press the daylight here and then um, calculate. And let's see how it looks when we run a daylighting calculation. Okay, so let's just wait for that. Okay, it's almost close. Let's just wait for another few minutes. Okay, if you want to see the result immediately, you can click this one show overview of results according to calculation actually i sh should have checked that one before press before pressing the calculation tab okay this is very exciting because i never tried doing it before okay i think the reason it's taking so much time is because i have lots of objects okay so it's done let's go and check it now all right, so I have one calculation here. Let's go and check. And if we see it in our 
Ooh, look at this. It's a thousand, ten thousand lux. Okay, so it seems here that um, our calculation glare, uh, our glare rating is, it's um, less than 10. So it's okay because it's less than 10. The, even the calculation glare too is less than 10. You can see here when you pull it down here, height, inclination. Yeah, everything is less than 10 nice so it's not even glary because i think i created a, a one one o'clock time that's why so maybe if i change it into say for example um all right because this one is facing here so if i change it to maybe three o'clock let's go and change it into three o'clock then maybe it's glary okay so now it's less than 10 let's change the the time into two o'clock and see if it's still and see if it's still glary. All right, so this three o'clock lighting, daylighting calculation is done. And still the result is really good. It's still less than 10. The value is less than 10. And if I'm not mistaken, the highest glare value in sports lighting is 50. And for the indoor or for the office is uh, 19, at least 19 glare value. Or for some it's 16. Okay, so it's, I think it's okay, but if you want to get the total result or the exact result because it just shows less than 10, uh, maybe we can now go to our um, report and see how it looks. Okay, so if you go to the documentation and look for the calculation point report, I need to go to, there you go, so it's a calculation object, so calculation point one and calculation point number two the strongest glare maximum is less than 10. okay so it seems it's not too glary at all maybe because my glass that the maybe because the use the glass that i use is ha it has a shield or um tint for that and we can check that one say for example if we want to change it into a very clear glass then uh, yes maybe we can see the difference but if we want to check the glass class uh, classification let's just go to this material tab and then pick the material and you can see here the reflection factor is 10 percent degree of transmission is 90 and then refractive index is 1.5 if we go to the trans aperture yeah because i did not add any facade elements here so i think it's not glare at all i don't know why it's not glare yeah, even though it's uh it's really a high lux value on the window side it's not it's not showing that it's really glary it's just less than 10 and it's good for an office <laughs> okay the uh, the report says it's less than 10, but if you have this kind of 15,000 lux on the table, then it's not good because it will be very glary. Maybe my calculation report for the glare is not, it's not applicable for the daylight. Maybe it's just for the artificial light. Or, yeah, maybe it's just for the artificial light. I am not sure. So, um, Yes, so Rizka Feli, I will check this one because you can see here, this is too much lights on the window, but the glare value is only less than 10. And it's, I don't think it's correct. Okay, so, um, all right. What if I created a unified glare instead of the glare point? Okay, let's go to the calculation uh, object tab and then let's place a calculation surface that um, uh, used for a unified glare instead of a calculation point. Okay, so I'm going to put a calculation um, object here. Okay, I'll just, I will use polygon. Okay, so I will put a unified glare rating instead of um, instead of just one point 
please say yes and then I will place this one as 1.1 meter and then the parameter will be the unified glare rating or UGR and then I will just use the same same uh, okay let maybe check this one because I did not change the height offset let's say 1.1 and let's go to the 3D. Yeah, okay, 1.1. Okay. And uh, yeah, maybe I did not change the height. Okay, let's go back to the point. Maybe we can also change that one. Okay, I don't have, yeah, this is the only positioning for the point. So I think this is correct. Yes, okay. Anyways, so now we have a UGR instead of point only, and let's calculate it again and see if uh, the glare is different now. Okay, measuring grid, let's just make the measuring grid as one by one. Okay, and uh, yeah, okay, so let's go and calculate it again. Okay, so now it's done, and let's check what is the value now. So this one is, oh, look at this one. It's still less than 10. Even if it's a UGR, now it's less than 10. Okay, I think this is really correct. But uh, what if we add the luminaire? And let's see if this glare value will add, okay? So I'm going to add this one, this fitting now into the calculation. And let's see if um, our glare value differs because right now I really don't think it's not too glary. So I will create another uh, empty light scene. And then again, I will add this one. And then I will create a new luminaire group. Yes. And then I will add this one to this luminaire. So it's uh, actually, it's a um, round LED tube uh, suspended. So now it is included. And then I will add a daylight, clear sky. And I will change the time into like three, three o'clock, same three o'clock and the location is still in London. And then I will label this light scene number four as daylight with luminaire. And we will run a calculation with this one. So now it's the active, it's the active calculation. So I'll go now and calculate. And let's see if it changed because uh, even though it's a UGR, it's still less than 10. And even if it's a glare point, it is less than 10. Okay, let's see again in a few minutes. Okay, so we have the value now, including this artificial light. And what we have here? Oh, look at this. So the UGR is now uh, 30, okay. Now this luminaire is glary compared to the sun. And look at this, this is 30. Yes, it's 30. And for the glare points, it says 90. Okay, I think this is crazy. Okay, so let's just focus on the UGR because it says here it's less than 10 and greater than 30. Okay. Okay. So Rizka Feli 4374, I think in my opinion, the glare rating for the daylight is not included in the calculation because it becomes high when we added uh, the luminaire and uh, you can see that there are 10,000 locks on the table, but still it's not glary. I think it's not part of the calculation, the daylighting. So yes, maybe we can try again and let's see if uh, if the daylight is really not included. But we get the value like the ten, uh, the less less than ten, uh, ten glare value is there. I am not sure why it's like that. Okay, so my conclusion is, uh, it is either not uh, the glare rating is either not included in the daylight or. I produce a glass that is not uh, 
uh, that has a tint which penet uh, which the sunlight cannot penetrate on the glass. That's why it's not glary. But by this observation, by by this calculation, it shows that it's too it's too bright. So it means it will create glare. So maybe the calculation grid points or calculation surface has a different um, parameters. Yeah, I can see here it's only unified glare rating and the glare rating or the GR. Okay, so I hope you learned something today, even though I cannot conclude if my calculation design is correct or not. But yeah, you can try it and uh, you can either use a calculation point like this point or a calculation surface like this for the UGR. Try it and make sure your fenestration or your glass window has an exact uh, specification based on the actual glass that you're going to use. Because right now I just use the default from Dialux and it's just a clear glass. Okay, so yep. So yeah. Go and try it and I hope you learned something today. And if you want to learn more, go and check my Udemy courses about lighting design techniques and Dialux Evo, AutoCAD and Photoshop uh, software. And also be my friend in Facebook because I keep on giving some coupon codes for my Udemy courses. All right, so see you again on the next video. Bye.